Hello and welcome to Check Checker. Today I'm going to be unboxing this sports camera by Vict Singh. Full HD action camera with a 2 inch um, display. 1080p sports camera with a waterproof case. Wide angle lens. 12 megapixel action camera. Um, with some accessories. So let's crack this open. Okay, so on the box we've got a camera and accessories. So let's take those out. It looks like there's another one underneath. Another accessories packet. That's nice. So I'll open the accessories first. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we've got some Velcro straps, got the user manual with the model number, charging time up to four hours, a little bit about it, it takes up to a 32 gigabyte um, micro SD card. I always recommend that you use a good brand. You've got uh, some stickers and a safety strap. Basically, this is an extra precaution which goes between the camera and another fixing, so that if the camera does come flying off, this stays on and obviously holds your camera. You've got a cleaning cloth, a spare back screen should you need it, some tire wraps. One normal universal mount, like the adapter, to make it a little bit longer. A micro USB. In the second box, got a lot more in it. Get all that out. Okay, so we've got an open back cage for doing dry, dry weather recording. There's a belt clip somewhere, is there? Yep, we've got a belt clip here. Take this and do this. So that clips into the back, like so. You can then clip it onto your belt buckle and wear it like that. So that's that. You've got another one of these. Um, adapters to make it a bit f longer further away so you get two of those that was in the other packet get that open so you got two of those you also get a longer one and you get what I call a swan neck mount to bring it away from your body You get two more, two more mounts. One's got a screw hole in it for a tripod. Both got 3M tape on them. You then get a camera mount and a reverse camera mount. Andy, so you can use this part for a tripod and this part you can connect into the base of this or into the base of this one if that's pushed through. You sort of push that through. Okay, so I'll push that through. That will then screw onto there as well, so you can have a mount like that. And you also get the bicycle mount, which is very handy when you want to undo them. Just undo this one first, take that off, unscrew this one, put it around your handlebars, clip it up. Put that one on, tighten up, and you're away. So 
So that's all the accessories. Let me just put that all in this box. I'll be using some of these tomorrow. I'm filming this at night so it gives the me a chance to put the camera on charge and I will be using the camera itself tomorrow. Okay. So it comes in a nice little foam bit there, which is handy. It comes in a waterproof case. It's got a screen protector there. Get it off. Got no nails. Okay, so I'll take that off because I don't need that. So you click that forward, lift that up. That takes it out. Remove the camera. So there's the waterproof case. You get a spare back. Then the camera itself. So let me just get a memory card. memory card in there. I'll be sticking a better one in tomorrow but this is just do for the purpose of setting up guides showing you how to work it. So you've got the power on on the front, press and hold. Comes up with a couple of little divers and then it's got the date on it. So you Press OK to record, the light's flashing, at the minute it's on a three minute cycle which I'm going to turn off, which is if you're recording it in a car um, it will record three second clips the microphone is showing, so the microphone's on you see it flashing when it's recording and the timer's down there and it's saying it's in 1080 full HD so I'll stop that. So I'll press the front button. Takes it to the camera. Press it again. Press it again. It takes you to the menu. So I'll quickly go through the menu. You've got resolution, cycle record, HDR motion detection which you have the motion detection on if you're using it as a car camera as soon as you start moving it will automatically start recording uh, recording, date stamp, capture mode, photo size, sequence, quality, sharpness, white balance, colour, ISO, exposure, anti-shaking, quick review, date stamp, language, date Auto power off, beep sound, screen saver, frequency, rotation, on screen mode, delete, and format. So I'm going to format the card. Got default version, default settings in the version. So I'm going to go back up and go through some of these. So the frequency, I'm going to leave it on 50 hertz. Screen saver. Put that to five minutes, beep sound leave on, auto power leave off, date and time, I'll quickly set those. Um, 16, it's the 29th of the 5th. Okay, and the time is 22.35. Twenty two thirty five and I want it as day month year day month year so that's done that's okay it's all done recording the video
turn it back on, double press the front, press it again, takes you to that, so you've got resolution, so I'll leave it on 1080p, full HD, cycle record I'm going to have off, because when I use it I just want it to record all the time, HDR I want on, motion detection I want off, recording, date stamp I want off because I do action stuff so I don't want the date stamp in the bottom of the screen so I'm going to leave that off, capture mode, just leave that a single photo size, leave it as 12 megapixel, sequence off, quality I want fine, sharpness I want normal, white balance I'm going to leave as auto, colour, just leave it as colour, ISO, I'm going to leave that to auto, exposure, I'm going to leave that to auto, anti-shaking, I'm going to leave it off, if you put the anti-shaking on, it will work, but what you'll find is it will crop the picture, because how it works is, say for argument's sake, your picture's this big, it will use this middle part, and if this is the actual picture, obviously your camera can move about all inside that picture, and it will still be able to keep the inside um, straight but the outside will be cropped off so you'll be cutting the image down by about a third to a quarter you'll be losing of the picture so I'm going to leave that off obviously if you're really shaky then you can have it on if you want to quick review I'm going to have it off that's if you're doing pictures more than anything date stamp I'm going to have off Language I'm going to leave, date and time, we've already done that. We do that. And then what she didn't say. Oh, I'm a bit myself there. 20 to 39. 39. And it's the 25th. I want the up here. That's done. And then the next one. Oh, I power off. Leave that off. Beep sound, leave that on. Screen saver, done that. Frequency, done that. So that's all the, um, all the settings so I hope that's been handy helpful to you at least it's taking you through the settings um, obviously I'll be um, taking this for a test tomorrow so there's a photograph if you want to take a photograph no image because obviously I haven't done any images um, I didn't see anything about the audio let me just have a quick look through again Beep. See, beep format. There go. There's nothing to let you turn off the audio by the look of it. Right, so the audio is going to be stuck on no matter what. So I'll do a quick recording inside just so you can have a rough idea and then I'll we'll use it tomorrow. I'm going to stick it on charge. I know it says it's got a full battery but I want to make sure it's fully maxed out and I'll give it a test run tomorrow. And after you've seen this hopefully you will enjoy the next part of the footage and hopefully it's been helpful to you. Okay so I've got the action camera. I'm going to turn it on so you can see that I'm using this action camera. It's got the divers on it. So I'm going to hit record. Now that's recording this one. That's recording. So I'm going to turn the phone off. I'm going to take over with the action camera. Okay, so I've got the action camera. 
I'm going to have a quick look outside so it gives you an idea. This is the one of the best action cameras I've tested for audio. There's my front garden, it's only small. Take the walk around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strap it to the side of my car. I've got a suction mount and I'm going to go for a drive. As I say, this is one of the best action cameras I've tested out for um, audio. You could quite easily use this as a blogging camera. Um, the audio quality is really good. So I hope this video is going to be helpful. I'm going to go and get the car um, adapter, strap it onto a car and go for a drive. Okay, so I've got the mount on the screen, on the... Um, What's it on the car? Let me show you in the mirror. That is that camera. This is the camera. 40 pound. I'm going to stick it in the case. The case will come with it. So, if you enjoy the video, I'm just going to go for it. So let's 
get this on the computer and see what the footage is like. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's been helpful to you.